Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. There's rats nibbling on my breakfast. Well, you put a little muscle in it. At this rate, we won't be out of here by the end of Obama's second term. Oh, well, we can always try flooding the place again. Well, that won't work. The sheriff will just have us pump out the basement again. What? Us? I did all the pumping. Well, you're pumping off a debt, Slick. Don't remember, you owe me 600 bucks. Mate, come on, it's got to be at least 250 by now. How do you figure that? Uh, the amount of hours you've been working here at 650 an hour? $6? Come yeah. Six dollars, six fifty. Come on, that's a really good wage in these uncertain it's times. It's a joke. It is not a joke. It's above minimum wage. No, it's not. It is. Yeah, ten years ago, maybe. You don't know what minimum wage is. Double to nothing on the two fifty. You want to release the prisoners? You have to pay the fines as well, Stan. What damages? Oh, sweet salvation. They completely trashed the plumbing in my jail. I have to see an itemized bill. Spanky buns. You must be the woman he's been telling me all about. I can only imagine. Well, you're far lovelier than you let on. And you are? Uh, Buttercup, this is Ethan Lovett. And you could only be Mrs. Lucas Spencer. You want your husband back. You're going to have to pay the fines for both of them. And damages. Well, of course she wants me back. Why else would she be here? I have not seen an itemized bill. Down here, we don't question a man's integrity. Well, then try not to question a woman's intelligence. I need to see an accounting of every penny in writing. Or I will just have to call my good friend the governor, and you and your nepotistically endowed deputy will be cleaning toilets. Sweet. Nice wife. Oh, I've missed you. I've been wondering when you were going to show up. Funny, I had the same thought about you. And if you wanted to get bailed out sooner, you should have called. Well, we didn't want to inconvenience you. That's a first. Well, see, Luke and I were determined to get out of this place on our own. You know, and, and we got pretty close a couple times, but I'm glad we didn't now because I get to meet you in person and see... Not only what a fine-looking woman you are, but also how resilient and intelligent and generous. I haven't bailed you out yet. No, I was talking about letting the sheriff go with his badge intact. <laughs> <laughs> how did my good-for-nothing husband get you involved in this mess? Good-for-nothing? Husband? Good-for-nothing? <laughs> While the staff was trying to contain the biotoxin... That this bloke had swallowed and was carrying around in his stomach? That's an old drug meal. The OR was filling up with gas, which then ignited, exploded, caused a huge fire, and they had to do evacuations from the roof in a blizzard with helicopters. And Jax was the only one crazy enough to attempt it. And why is this having absolutely no effect on you? Because I'd like to get out of here, and I figure if my kids or anybody I cared about was affected by this, you would have already told me. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you that your daughter-in-law is a patient at Mercy Hospital. She is on the mend, and I, in fact, was released after 24 hours with your daughter by my side constantly. What are you talking about? That OR shares an air duct with the boardroom. I was there for a fundraiser. You came in contact with this poison? Don't start. No, what do they know about this stuff? Oh, the phony concern. Luke couldn't stop talking about you, honestly. I don't even think he realizes how much. No kidding. Yeah, you know, some men just have a lot of trouble expressing how much they truly care. No, Luke knows how much he cares about my money. But I could have died from the fire, from the poison, from the helicopter, and you never would have known the difference. Look, I was wrongfully incarcerated here, sweetheart. You, you can't be angry because I didn't save you. No, but I do think it's reasonable for me to think you Look, should communicate. This is just as much my fault. Okay? Luke and I had a small misunderstanding about some funds. This is why we... Will you here. shut here up? An itemized list of all the fines and damages. Fine. I would be delighted to pay the fines and damages for him. Not... Him. Well, I'm sure she's just busting your chops, mate. She's gonna bail us both out. You don't know Tracy, either. She is fully capable of leaving me here to rot. 
Yeah, but money doesn't seem to be the problem for her. Hey, look, Slick. Don't think I'm not onto you. And don't underestimate her. She's no pushover. I saw the way you were working her the minute she walked in. Oh, no, I wasn't working her. Of course you were working her. You convinced her that you were an innocent that I led astray. Oh, well, excuse me. I'll clear that right up. <laughs> no, please don't. You know, the less explaining you do at this point, the better. Well, no worries, mate. I'll tell you what, the second I'm out of here, I'll head straight to your casino and come back with the cash to bail you out. Don't do me any favors. Stay away from my casino. You still owe me 600 bucks. Oh, 250. And I figured, since I'm about to save your ass, you might as well forgive the debt. Let's, let's just talk about this. That was quite a bill you ran up, Luke. It's just as much my fault. Stop trying to take the blame. She wants the young one. The young one? Thank you so much. This is, I'm in your debt, Tracy. Can I call you Tracy? Uh, if you must. Well, this is a debt I can never repay. Oh, you don't have to. You might want to rethink that, Tracy. What are you doing? Check your purse. What? Check your purse. My cash is gone. No kidding. Now check the pockets of this fine young man that I led astray. 